Today I'm going to explain the different types of stabilization settings in DaVinci Resolve and show you how you can go from shaky footage from this to this. So let's dive in and get started. All right, here is our clip. It's the signage from a hotel and you can see that the footage is a bit shaky, which we are hoping to smooth out. So if we come across here to our inspector tab, we'll see stabilization, we wanna turn that on. And under the modes, you'll see we have three options, perspective, similarity, and translation. So perspective mode enables the panning, tilting, zooming, rotation, and perspective of your clip. This is the uh, most intensive, it'll do the most work to your shot, um, but sometimes it does give off that kind of jello, wobbly looking footage, so we'll give that a try. As you can see, it hasn't done a bad job at stabilizing the footage, but if you look up here, it's, there's a bit of shake and wobble to it. So we're gonna try the similarity mode. So the similarity mode uses the pan, tilt, rotation, and zoom. Um, this mode is my favorite out of the bunch. I think it provides the best results. It doesn't give you that warpy look that the perspective mode does. So we'll give this one a try. Looking better, as you can see that those kind of shakes from perspective mode have gone. Lastly is the translation, which enables the pan and the tilt. And we can see straight away that that's actually brought back a bit more wobble to our shot, so that one is not for us. So we'll jump back to similarity. And every time you change one of these modes, you have to restabilize it by hitting the stabilize button. All right, so under the modes here, we have this camera lock toggle. So if we turn this on, what the stabilizer is gonna do is try and remove any camera movement from the shot. Um, I'll show you what it's doing by unchecking the zoom and hitting stabilize. So you can see here in our shot, it looks pretty stable, but these black borders, that's how much work the stabilizer is doing, shifting our shot around to keep what we want still. So now if we click on the zoom button, which will zoom in to get rid of those black borders, we should have a pretty stable shot. As you can see, the shot has been stabilized, but it's cropped in quite far. So we're gonna go ahead and turn camera lock off. Now below are the sliders. We have cropping ratio, smooth, and strength. Cropping ratio basically tells the stabilizer how much of the frame you're willing to give up with the zoom crop it's gonna do. The smooth is basically what it says. It's how smooth it kind of blends the work the stabilizer is doing, and the strength is more or less the dry wet. So I usually like to leave my strength right up to 100 and then toggle around with these smooth and cropping ratio settings. So somewhere like that, restabilize, and let's see how that looks. And that looks like a pretty stable shot from where we started. So let's compare the two. Just duplicate, and I'll turn off the stabilization so that's without the stabilization, bit shaky. And that's with our new stabilization. So big improvement there. One thing to note is that the stabilization settings in the edit tab are exactly the same as in the color tab. Trust me, I looked at the manual and they're exactly the same. Now that's the main stabilizer in Resolve, but it's not the only way to stabilize your footage. In my opinion, the way I'm about to show you looks much better. Right, so let's get rid of that clip and make sure the stabilization's off on this one. Cool, so there's our shaky footage again. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stabilize this in the Fusion panel. So open in Fusion page. And here you see we'll have our nodes. And what we want to do is apply a planar tracker to our shot. So shift spacebar brings up a quick search 
and we'll just type in planar, select it there, add. So now it's added to our node structure. If we come across to the panel here, we will see that the motion type is set to perspective. Now we want to change from perspective to translation and rotation. We don't necessarily want the scale this time around. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw a tracking window around our signage because it will have a lot of data points to track to. And once that's done, we'll hit set and this will be our reference frame. And from here, we will track backwards to the start of our shot. Track forward to the end of our shot. Cool. So now that we've tracked what we want to stabilize, all we have to do is change our operation mode to stabilize. Now, if I just hit play here, it's nice and stable, but we can see that there has been a bit of adjustment to keep it stable. So now all we're going to do is apply a transform to zoom in on our shot and fill the frame again. Now we can either do shift spacebar again to find the transform or you can just click our transform icon here. And we just zoom in till we fill the frame. and our shot is looking pretty stable. So I've set up here shots side by side. Uh, the first shot is the regular stabilization and the second shot is the planar track, a stabilization in the fusion panel. So we can compare the two. So here's the first one. See a bit of movement here in the planar tracker. A lot smoother. Different footage, regular stabilization, versus the fusion stabilization. And the last shot will be no stabilization, shot on an old DJI Ronin gimbal. Regular stabilization and fusion stabilization. So that's how you can stabilize your shaky footage in DaVinci Resolve. If you like this tutorial, subscribe for more.